Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to answer um, a few of Erwin, 15 Erwin's questions and uh, play a little game called What's in My Wallet? Um, Erwin, 15 Erwin sent me a list of 20 questions. So, um, I'm just going to pick three of them and we'll go from there. Um, first of all, uh, Erwin, 15 Erwin asked me, um, are you in a relationship? And the answer is no. No, I'm not in a relationship. I broke up with my um, ex about four or five months ago, and I am happily single right now. You know, the single life. You gotta live it up and make it through and all that fun shit. Uh, I hadn't been single for almost five years before that. Um, the last relationship I was in, I was in for about two years, and this one I was in about three years. So, I'm still kind of getting used to the idea. Um, so there is that. Um, now, one thing this guy asked me was, or girl, um, what do you hate about your job and what do you love about your job? And instead of answering those separately, I am going to make some comparisons. Okay. So, as you all knew, um, I used to work at a nude club called State Line Showgirls, and uh, that's where most of my videos came from. Well, I work at a bikini bar now, as opposed to a nude strip club, so there's one thing I like. Um, it's called The Rendezvous, and it's in downtown Coeur d'Alene. Um, second comparison I'm going to make is I know that when I go into my work on a Friday night, there are not going to be more than six, seven, maybe eight at the most females dancing on stage and asking for dances. So that means I only have seven other girls to compete with. On a Friday night at Showgirls, I could guarantee you there would be at least 20 to 25 girls. That means there is at least 19 to 24 girls for me to compete with trying to make money. And when a business like that is not even busy at all, then you don't have a fucking chance in the world. So therefore, there's another thing that I like. Uh, third thing I like is that out at Showgirls, it's a non-smoking establishment. And the bar is located next door to the strip club because you cannot have alcohol and nudity served in the same establishment. So. Therefore, the only place you can smoke and drink indoors with your customer is at the bar. So, where I work now, my club is a bikini pole dancer bar, a regular bar, a indoor smoking establishment, a pool hall, um, like, it's... It's so much fucking better. Uh, out of Showgirls, if I wanted to smoke a cigarette, I had to step away from my customer, go into a small room, and smoke a cigarette in a room about the size of my fucking bed. Um, and then hope that my customer would be back by the time I got back from smoking. Or hoping my customer would still be there. At uh, the rendezvous, I can smoke a cigarette while I'm sitting with my customer talking to them. At Showgirls, if you wanted to go have a drink with your customer, or they invited to buy you a drink, or invited you to the bar, or anything like that, you had to go to your manager, beg and plead on your fucking knees for him to let you go to the bar. And then once you actually got into the bar, you only had about 25 minutes to drink, and then you had to go back next door. Okay. At Rendezvous, shit's dang as fuck. It's your local gas station coffee. Um, yeah. Fucking at Rendezvous, I can sit at the bar with my customer, get as many drinks as I want, sit there for as long as I want, smoke and drink at the same place, in the same time with the same person for as long as I want. I can go over and play a game of pool. It's 
smoke a cigarette and have a beer in my bikini and seven inch heels with my customer for however long I want, whether he's paying me or not. This is fucking brilliant. Like, I don't understand why, oh, I do understand why, because you have to be 21 to work there, because it's a bar. And, uh, but I do not know why after I turned 21 I did not go to this bar sooner, because I love my job. I love the management there. There's, that's actually like a fifth reason, or six, or something, whatever fucking number we're on. I love the management at my club, like the club that I'm working at right now. I love the management. They're all so easygoing and they don't really give a shit what you do as long as you're like nice to them and and like give them tips where tips are due. Like they don't fucking care. Over at Showgirls, you asked to go to the bar. You were like, "Hey, can I go to the bar?" No. Twenty minutes later, "Hey, can I go to the no?" Okay. Twenty fucking minutes later, um, it's been an hour. Can I go? No. Are you fucking kidding me? Like, okay, so therefore, I love my job, where I'm at now, compared to my other one. So, there honestly is not a whole lot that I dislike about where I'm at right now, at all. Um, maybe nights where I don't make very much money, I still have to pay them 20 bucks. What the fuck ever. That doesn't bother me because out at Showgirls, you give one fucking dance and you already owe them $22. Or $11. Two dances, $22. Two dances, you only make 50 bucks. Minus $22? Come on. Out at Rendezvous, my dances are 20 bucks, fully clothed, no touching whatsoever, and there's cameras. Ah, cameras! What a fucking novel concept. Cameras in the dancing area. And it's just all around a better place. Like, I pay 20 bucks. If I make fucking $299, I make $279. Yeah. Like, it's just so much better. So anyway, those are the three questions that I am going to uh, answer from Irwin15 Irwin. Don't worry though, because there are 17 more. <laughs> so anyway, um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what is in my dancer wallet, because this is one of the most important things every dancer will have. You can barely see it, you can't see it that well. Alright, there we go. This is one of the most important things a dancer could have. This is where you keep your money, so you don't carry around a big fucking purse and look like an idiot. You carry your money in this, and it should have almost anything that you need. So, first of all, as you can see is hanging out here. This is my house key. So I know this is so incredibly important, I'm not going to leave it fucking sitting somewhere. And if I do, I'm not going to get into my house. Um, it's a flip open wallet. And inside here I have some business cards from different places. Um, I have chapstick, because you always want this. You don't want to keep peeling skin off your lips and shit while you're sitting with your customer. These were from Stateline Showgirls. Did you hear that? These are from Stateline Showgirls. These are all receipts. Can you see? Oh my god. The glare is terrible, but this is the only place my computer will pick up the webcam. Um, and then I have some memories. Uh, okay, that was really weird. Um, I have random phone numbers, because, you know, every guy at the fucking club is going to give you a phone number. You can barely even see it. What the fuck is going on? I promise you there's a fucking phone number on here. You can't see shit. What the fuck is this? Ah. Uh -huh. There. Phone number. Um. This is a lady who was crazy and was like, I can make you awesome outfits. You should, you should call me. I have her phone number. Um. This is a card from when my friends and I went to Oregon, when I was telling you about that. This is what they gave you. Like, they're like, oh, you're number eight in a deck of fucking cards. That's brilliant. Brilliant. Okay. Um, another phone number. Um, oh, this is a list of strip clubs in Portland. Oh no, 
know these are dance dance clubs. We wanted to go do something fun. We ended up going to Dante's Inferno. Um. Oh, this is a poem, my friend. Okay, this is Dougie. Dougie's my favorite DJ, and this is a poem he wrote me because people kept putting change on the fucking tip rail, which pisses me off. Times are tough, times are hard, but if you throw change at our girls, then you're a fucking retard. Fines, fives are awesome, dollars are fine. If you're that goddamn broke, Albertson sells box wine. P.S. They also have Coinstar. So this is my fucking favorite DJ ever. I love him. Dougie, uh, DJ Boner, to be exact. Don't ask. Um, I also have more money, or not money, fucking money, I wish. Numbers. This is the key for our room. Has many, many memories. Um, and this is a sweet bar bingo game that I fucking found at a bar in Portland. Some receipts. This is where you put your money. And my cell phone fits in there. And my cigarettes fit on top of that. And I can zip it all up. And I have my cigarettes, my cell phone, my chapstick, my money, all my phone numbers, my business cards, my house key. You like everything fits in here. So that's what that is. And this video is getting really long now. It's 11 minutes. So I'm going to find something else to do. I'll probably record another vlog because I have absolutely nothing to fucking do until I work tonight. So anyway, that's what's going on. And yeah, I think that's, I think that's all I was going to say. So yeah, I will talk to you guys later. Like I said, send me some fucking questions. I don't think I ever said that. Yeah, I think I did actually. Send me questions. I burped. Send me questions!